Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing two of my favorite full coverage longwear foundations. I talk about these a lot on my channel and I kind of refer to them as my favorites, but I've never done a comparison of the two together. Actually, I take that back. I actually filmed this video about two weeks ago and I went to edit it and I lost a very important clip, so I just decided to refilm the whole thing. So technically, I have compared the two because I tried to upload this a couple weeks ago, but I'm back to refilm this so we can see which of the two is really like my holy grail. I don't really use that word very often on my channel, but I'm just going to use it. My holy grail full coverage long wear foundation. The two foundations that I'm referring to are the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation and Estee Lauder's this way, Double Wear Foundation. Uh, I love these both. They're fantastic long wear full coverage foundations with a matte finish. Um, so I'm going to apply one on one side. We'll do the Estee Lauder on the right, the Too Faced on the left, and we're going to check in several times throughout the day to see which one really performs better than the other. So as far as what I have on my skin right now, the only thing I have on my skin is the Colleen Rothschild uh, Moisture. This is the Sheer Renewal Cream. This is all I have. I decided to skip a primer for this video um, just to see how the foundations perform on their own comparative. Um, and it's interesting because, I, like I said, I filmed this a few weeks ago and it was pretty humid that day in Austin. And lately the weather has been really dry and cold. So um, obviously I know my results from the first. So the weather is very different than it was a few weeks ago. So this will be an interesting test. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We will start with the Estee Lauder on the right side. I don't have a pump for this foundation. This is, I complain about this all the time, but I know they sell pumps for this, but I believe once you buy the pump, it brings this foundation to close to or just over $50. Um, so I don't know, I haven't done it yet. But I'm just gonna apply this in the center of my face and then I'm gonna go in and blend this into the skin with a foundation brush. Now, I can't seem to find my favorite foundation brush, which is the It Cosmetics, um, the Heavenly Dual Ended Foundation Brush. So I'm using the Bobbi Brown um, Full Coverage Face Foundation Brush. And I'm just gonna press this into the center of the face and then kind of blend it out at the perimeter. I've used this foundation for years. I mean, probably 10 years. I really, really like it. It has always been a really nice full coverage long wear foundation. It's and it has never ever failed me. And I'm the shade Pure Beige, 21C, is that what it is? No, 2C1, that's my shade. I did use my Dermaflash this morning to remove any peach fuzz off of my skin because when I'm working with full coverage foundations, especially matte full coverage foundations, I want all of that to be removed so everything is nice and smooth. I'm going to build a little bit more out here Okay, so this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Applied. I don't have any concealer on clearly, but just so you can kind of see the comparison of Estee Lauder Double Wear to a bare clean face. So now I'm going to go and apply the Peach Perfect on the left side of my face. Uh, as far as price points, the Estee Lauder is slightly more expensive and you get less product. I believe the Peach Perfect retails for $36 and you get 1.6 ounces. In the Estee Lauder, you get one ounce for, I think it's just over $40. $42 is what I remember. I do like that the Too Faced has a pump. It has a very strong fragrance though, so if that's something that you are not a fan of, then I would probably opt out of this foundation because it is a very strong fragrance. As far as shade, I am the shade Light Beige. When I first apply these foundations, they have a very similar finish and coverage. It's very difficult for me to find any differences really between the two. They both have a pretty like natural velvety matte finish. They don't really necessarily look like they've been powdered, but uh, there really is no shine, no glow, no dewiness. It's like a nice natural matte finish. As far as how buildable these are, uh, I mean, you certainly can add more to get a little bit of coverage, but these are foundations that the more that you add, the heavier it is going to look. They're not necessarily buildable in the sense that you can continue to add more and more for more coverage and the finish is still going to look more natural. No, these will build up on the skin and look a little heavier, at least in my experience. So, so I kind of like to start with a smaller amount and just like add where I need it. Rather than go in with a lot, I like to just apply a little bit and then go in and add more where I need it. And that might not necessarily be needing it everywhere, but it might just be in a couple of little spots. I often find that one full pump of the Too Faced foundation is too much for me. When I end up using all of it, I feel like it looks heavy. So I leave usually, there's about that much left of what I'm not using. 
So I have applied both foundations. I'm going to go and apply the rest of my makeup so we can come back and kind of compare the two sides, give it a few minutes to kind of set and settle, and then we'll come back and talk about any differences that we see. Okay, I'm back. So it is just after 11 a.m. I've applied the rest of my makeup. It's been about 25 minutes. So the foundation has had time to kind of settle. I did not powder it. I kind of wanted to like give it some time to really set to make the decision to powder or not. And I don't feel the need to. It doesn't feel tacky at all. It has a nice kind of dry finish. There's no shine. My skin has been a slightly a little bit drier the last few days. Well, actually it's been cold here the last like week, almost two weeks maybe. So I think that has something to do with it. Typically I do like to set, especially in the center of my face with powder, but today I'm not going to do that because I don't feel the need to with either side. Looking at the foundation, I really cannot determine any differences between the two at all. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed that even the colors are almost identical. They look really, really nice. So I think I'm making the assumption that everyone is familiar with these foundations, but I shouldn't make any assumptions, right? Um, let me talk to you about the finish of both. If you're not familiar with either of the two, they are pretty good um, medium to full coverage foundations. They have both have a very matte finish. Some complaints I hear about either one of these is that they do tend to look Look heavy. I don't think that they look heavy. However, this is not a natural makeup look. I mean, it looks like I have makeup on my skin. Um, I don't feel like it's heavy in the sense that I don't really think that it accentuates texture. It doesn't look cakey to me, but it certainly does look like makeup. So if you're someone that likes a really natural looking foundation, I don't really think that either of these would be a good match for you. But if you are someone who likes good coverage, especially if you're someone that has an oilier skin type and you need a long wearing foundations, I think that both of these are great options. I love them both, but we are going to wear them throughout the day. I'm going to check with you guys several times throughout the day to show you kind of how each of them is wearing. I will definitely make any notations of touch-ups that I do. Um, as far as the day outside, it's pretty cold and dry, um, so I am predicting that I'm not going to need to touch up a lot today, but we shall see. It is 11.08 a.m., so um, we are going to have a full day today. I have lots of errands to run. Um, we are having a play date later at the trampoline park. I'll probably jump in on trampoline, <laughs> getting a little worked up. Um, so yeah, I will check in with you guys in just a bit. Hey everyone, so it is 2.40, so the foundation's been on for, what is that, three and a half hours, just over three and a half hours. Um, I just took a really good look in the mirror. I'm, I've got my ring light on in front of me, and I really can't tell any differences between either side. Both sides are still holding up really well. I haven't touched up yet, so three and a half hours in, and I have not felt the need to touch up, but I'm gonna get in front of the natural light window too so you can tell, but there's really, I'm, I'm gonna look in the mirror here just so that I can kind of talk what I'm seeing. I do feel like I could touch up right now. It's not really shiny or dewy or breaking up anywhere. The makeup still looks really, really good. I'm getting a little bit shiny here in the center of my forehead, and then I want to touch up around my nose a little bit, but I certainly think that I could continue another hour or so before actually needing to touch up. Um, but I just wanted to check in and kind of let you know where we are at. So far, they're, they're both very comparable. I see no obvious differences between either side. Neither side is really gathering or breaking up or... Um, coming off anywhere. Um, it still looks pretty much exactly the same as it did when I first applied it, plus a little bit more shine. But other than that, everything is looking really good. Let me go over here to the natural light and show you that too. All right, so here we are in front of the natural light. It's kind of a gloomy day out, but so this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and then we have the Too Faced Peach Perfect on the side. But you can see that everything still looks really good. It's not wearing off. It's not really separating or gathering around the nose. It all looks really, really nice. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit of powder, touch up, and then I'll check back in with you guys in a couple of hours. Hey friends, so it is about 8.40 p.m. So we are at the, what is that, nine and a half hour mark or so? Um, and I just took a peek in the mirror. I'm, I'm in my beauty room. I've got a ring light in front of me, but I don't have any other lights, any softbox lights. I just have one light just so that it's not super dark and you can see the makeup in here. Um, I, I mean, I'm not surprised. I love these foundations. I've used them for a long time. I've raved about them. This wasn't really a foundation review per se. This was more of like a foundation comparison, right? Testing my two favorite foundations that are similar in finish and coverage and in um, just kind of wearability. And looking in the mirror, I have touched up once. I touched up shortly after my last check-in with you guys, like about, I guess it was about three and a half hours or so. And that's it. I haven't touched up at all. I don't even feel the need to touch up. My makeup still looks fantastic. It's not fading anywhere. It's not transferring. Um, the coverage is still 
as good as it was when I first applied it. Um, I have a slight sheen here on the forehead, but other than that, everything looks really good. Um, I really honestly cannot tell a difference between either side. They both look fantastic. Uh, remember, today's a pretty dry, cool day, so it's not like I'm really battling humidity or heat or anything like that. The temperatures are pretty ideal for makeup, but um, I am, yeah, I mean, I want to say I'm impressed, but I'm not surprised, you know what I mean? But I was hoping, or I was expecting at least to find a difference between the two, have one that I um, was kind of a clear winner over the other, but I really can't say that. You guys hear my kids? My husband is downstairs and they're acting crazy. They don't have school this week, so it's kind of just like, I don't know. We have these things that we do on Fridays called Family Fun Night where we watch a movie, the kids stay up late, the kids sleep in our room on sleeping bags. And today is Monday night, but it's Family Fun Night because the kids don't have school and they're just going crazy. I can hear the kids like bouncing off the walls, screaming. They're going crazy. Anyway, I should get down there soon. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys one last time. So I think the conclusion from this video is really that they're both pretty, pretty ideal. I mean, I cannot really say one I prefer over the other. They both look fantastic. Um, neither one of them is outperforming the other. They're just both fantastic, full coverage, long wearing matte finish foundations. So if you are looking for something like that, I definitely recommend giving one of these a try. Um, again, if you want something that looks very natural on the skin or sheer light coverage, I wouldn't re recommend either of these two. Um, I guess if I had to kind of recommend one over the other, the benefits of Too Faced Peach Perfect is that it's less expensive. It comes with a pump and you get more product, whereas Estee Lauder, you pay a little bit more. It doesn't have the pump um, and you get less product. But as far as performance, they're both fantastic. Sorry, you guys. I was hoping to have a clear cut winner, but just didn't really happen. Again, I think if it were humid or hot outside, maybe one would perform better than the other, but they both perform pretty well. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I don't really know that I learned much from this experiment, but I'm glad that I did it. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.